Hi everyone, welcome back. So today um, I bought a electric um, left conversion drive, um, electric left conversion drive for uh, my wife bike uh, because we've been riding but she's been having struggling trying to get uphill so I wanted to add some thing to assist her and I found this from on Amazon for a decent price and um, I'm gonna see if it fits. So it came in and let me show you what uh, what arrived. So this is what came with it. Uh, this is the motor um, with the bracket. I already put the bracket on there, but it comes separate. Um, so I put that together. Um, it's a 450 watt motor. And then you got these two. Um, it's kind of like the uh, cushion on the gasket for the sprocket. I'll show you how to put that together. Um, goes on the rear wheel. Then you got the chains. Then you got some bolts and nuts for that. Then you got some extra connector. Um, this is the controller and that's pretty much it and some extra um, nuts and bolts and this is the battery that i'm using um, this battery is used um, i bought it from one of a website and i'll put that link down below it's um 36 volt um i think about 12 amp hour and this this controller also takes 36 volt that's why i got 36 volt so let's go ahead and try to put it together this is the uh wheel i mean the bike that uh, we're gonna put together um, put that uh, motor on there. I already flipped her over because I was messing with it. Um, so let's go ahead and put it together. First, we're going to take out, uh, loosen these bolts. I already loosened these side bolts already. So it's already loosened. So we're going to take that out. All right, cut the wheel out. And then we're going to put the sprocket right here. So here's a sprocket. And this is the gasket that goes in between this uh, wheel and the sprocket. This one already comes cut, so this one goes on the inside. And as it comes with these, uh, I guess some kind of metal bracket to hold it in and the uh, bolts and um, nuts. This goes on the inside. And then you got these right here. I think they only give you one washer. Then we put this on the outside, on the inside, but on the outer side of it. Yeah. Then we put the nuts on. I don't know if you can see that. All right, so I won't tighten that yet. I'm going to put the um, bottom side. Show you how it looks like. So it goes in like that. And then you just tighten the screw. Just keep on tightening the bottom. Okay, so now I got all those uh, together. I just got to tighten it. So let me show you how it looks like. So you got that uh, metal piece right there, then you got the gasket here, and the gasket here, and the sprocket. And then all you have to do now is just tighten the bolt. And then we should be done with the sprocket part.
Now we're gonna put the wheel back in. Gotta do one thing, gotta put the change in. Gotta put this change in on the other side. Take it back out. Another thing I forgot to do is uh, put these uh, this bracket on for the motor. So let me take that back out again. Looks like it won't fit with this on. I'm gonna have to move the screw that holds this uh, basket or a rail. Either that or I have to put a washer right there. Yeah, I might just put a washer there. Because uh, it's, it's actually hidden on this little piece at the bottom okay so that wasn't a perfect fit so I don't know if I would recommend this kit but I had to go to um, Home Depot and put some washer right there put some washer right there and then um, I was able to uh, tighten this right here but the bottom part doesn't actually line up with the bar as you can see so I'm gonna have to leave that off um, but so far with this bolt and this seem to hold it pretty stable I'm hoping that it stays on um, but at the bottom piece bar here it's totally off it should be like somewhere right here but it's way up here so I, there's no way I can put a, a bracket to hold that in so Yep, so I don't know if I will recommend this kit, but I'm trying to make it work with what I have. So let me flip it over and then um, we'll connect the wiring and see if it works. I'm going to mount the throttle right here. So the throttle's going on the left side. And then I'm going to, let's put the battery right here and let's put the controller right here. So what I did on the controller I just taped it. I just taped the wiring that's not being used down here so it won't stick out. So, because we're only using these four wires, four connectors, and the rest not being used. So, I just taped it down here. Just kind of make it look a little neat.
Okay, I got a zip tie temporarily for now. Just going to test it out. All right, we got light, so that's a power switch. So I pretty much just ran a throttle cable here to the other side, zip tied it, and then uh, zip tied some of the power and the uh, motor cable. Have it running up here. This is temporarily just to get it running, and then um, I'll organize it. So let's go ahead and uh, let's give it a ride. So it's the next day because last night I ran out of time, it's getting dark. So today I'm going to show you a little test ride. And um, let me show you the power button right here. So here's the throttle, which has a power button. You just press the button here and see the light come on. So that's the battery level, green, that means it's full. Yellow is halfway, red is empty. And here's the throttle. So I weigh, so, so I weigh about 230 pounds. Let's see if we can take off. So I don't have to pedal, it just takes off for a guy weighing 230 pounds. So, look at this. See, no pedal, it just takes off. So it's actually pretty quick. I think I can hit probably like 20, 30 miles per hour with this, um, with no pedaling. So this is full electric. And for me, weighing 230 pounds, it, it took off like it was nothing. So I didn't have to pedal when I started. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's complete my test. And um, like and subscribe. Thank you.